lips never seem so good I am inclined to tune in just like I should all right all right number nine here is something to try get yourself a glass of cheap light beer make sure it's nice and cold pour it in a glass then add a pickle that's right, a pickle. It's supposed to make it taste better. The vinegar and salt notes are supposed to complement the beer perfectly. That's the same reason why pretzels or french fries taste so good with the beer. But don't get expensive beers or fancy IPAs. According to booze scientists, it works best with cheaper beers. Booze scientists. Yes. All right, number eight. There was a thread on Quora in which a pilot shared some simple things he does for safety when he's a passenger. And he noted this is worst case scenario oh, stuff. Boy, so definitely. I don't know if I want to. I don't want to know. Is this going to be. Dep All right. First thing he does is look around to see where the nearest emergency exit is, then count the number of seats between your seat and that exit. You'll remember that number in the dark or underwater if there's oh, yeah, smoke yeah, yeah. or if the plane's upside down. The idea to be able to blindly get to that exit even by touching the seat. His other tip is to actually read that safety card in the seat pocket so you know how the emergency exit door opens. Uh, a lot of them have different types of handles. He says these. Well, shouldn't that be a universal handle for every plane? One would think. He says those, those two things take about a minute of your time and he does that all the time. So I had to do this for a sweeps thing in Tulsa, Oklahoma in the early 90s called Getting Out Alive. <laughs> and I went to a guy who trains for the FAA and he says, when you read the cards on the plane, they'll tell you to take the, the at least back then, take the door off and set it in the row in front of you. <laughs> yeah. He says, go ahead and try and do that. Yeah. And he says, well, you know, when you do that, everybody's climbing on your back. He says, the reason the airlines were telling you this, he said, because they didn't want you throwing it out and ruining the plane, hurting the wing. And he says, but you take that door and you chuck it out the <laughs> window as fast as you can and go. Yeah. Huh. So, another tip, tip to save you your wow, life. Yeah. thanks, Larry. Yeah. I love that, yeah. Coming in at number seven, if you ever wanted to smoke something on the grill, but yeah, it sounds like kind of a pain, these can be good for you this summer. These are smoke pucks. There's none of that smoke soaking wood chips overnight. You just take the chips or pellets, put them inside the puck, and then put them on a grill as it preheats. You put the food on and you angle the pucks the way you want them and you've just now smoked your meat. You can now sleep easily at night. <laughs> well, this is an invention. <laughs> huh. So you can turn a regular grill into a smoker. Into a smoker, no problem well, at all. A few to try this weekend, huh? Yeah. You've been talking about smoking meat. I still don't quite understand. I have. We had a whole I, big conversation about this. It seems like food. I'm not quite sure what that's doing other than giving it some different wood. Flavor. Wood that's flavor? Right. Is that just it? Yeah, that's, that's what all it cooking does? is, giving foods different flavors. Well, I mean, but you're still grilling okay. it. It's just giving it like this yeah. different flavor. type of flavor. Yeah, grilling right. and smoking are two completely different so methods you would go, of cooking. But It'd does it like, cook a lot slower in this, the smoker? Yeah, that's, why would, that's, why, that's a lot of work. Why would you do that? Well, because it tastes different, and if you want that flavor, uh -huh. you would uh, it, you use that cooking method. You All know, right. it's like if you want to fry or bake something, there are two yeah. different ways uh, to make things. But I don't know why you'd opt for the one that takes the longest. Right. I mean, well, excellent point. therein lies the problem. Yeah. Yeah. See, finally an ally With here. With cigarettes, so. all the smoky flavor came at the same time, no matter what. Like, you didn't have to work harder for it, right? True. You want Marlboro, you want Virginia <laughs> Slims, you had a lot of options. Yeah. Oh. Uh, number six, let's talk about Pop Rock, shall we? Oh. oh. What's happening? The cracklin's what's happening. Pop rocks. There's bags of the bike. Pop rocks. The sizzle lets you giggle. Pop rocks. Taste that is sight. Pop rocks. It's snapping. It's crackling. The cracklin's what's happening. Pop rocks. Introducing Pop Rocks Cracklin' Candy. They'll burst all over your mouth in cherry. They were created in 1975 accidentally. A food scientist named William Mitchell tried to create an instant soft drink. He put some sugar flavoring mixed with carbon dioxide in his mouth. What he found was an exploding candy, and that is how Pop Rocks were born. They still sell those? What, do they? Occasionally, They yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. What do you know? Huh. All right, number five. This is from a, a little while back, but it's still pretty good. A guy named Ed Solomon tweeted, at the cafe where I'm writing, 
the people next to me were disagreeing about the origins of uh, Men in Black. And I said, if you'd like, I could clear that up for you. And one responded, I'm sorry, we do not need an old white male's mansplanation. So I apologize, and that was that. Who is Ed Solomon? Well, he's the guy who wrote Men in Black. Uh, he also wrote the Bill and Ted movies. But Solomon pointed out that as they were leaving, one of the girls apologized for calling him old. And he also tweeted a few hours after this that one of these young ladies reached out to him after seeing his tweet, and they had a big laugh about it, and uh, she was very nice. Right. Mm -hmm. Great. Number four, if you've been on the talk lately, you may have seen the reverse cat eye trend that everyone's talking uh, about. I've seen it. Well, I didn't know about this. Let me look here. It's exactly what it sounds like. I don't know what it sounds like. But yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, all right. Come on, Robert, A classic keep reading. It'll cat all eye. Yeah. Um, I think puts. Oh, it puts the black liner yes. on your upper lid, yes. and so now you're going on the lower Boy. lid. Uh. The best way to make this pop is to line the lower eye, sweep it up, and then you add a little gray eyeshadow and yep. a tiny brush to smudge it a little bit. Boring. No, it's not boring. It's very interesting, but I, you know, again, you can't ride every trend depending on right. and depending on what your your you gotta pick look and is. Choose, you but gotta, I do think this is one you could, as the kids say, rock. Ah, uh, yeah, see. Ray, don't be planting any negativity in her head. I heard that. <laughs> She wants Ray's to like, try it. Let her try it. <laughs> it's hard when you're used to doing your makeup a certain way. I don't right. have to tell you, Pat. No, of you course, can't. It's yeah. hard to just. It changes your whole look, yeah. you know. And people expect a certain look, and then you don't Live even recognize yourself. Try a reverse cat eye, some capri pants. Change the whole thing up. Maybe. Short haircut. Go. Wear a hat. Oh, you always wear a hat on this set, like a chapeau. A beret. <laughs> oh yeah, you can pull a beret off. Sure. A derby. <laughs> Uh, on the number three, if you're ever going to be in Germany's southern wine region, be on the lookout for broomsticks. For about four months out of the year, local laws permit winemakers to set up temporary restaurants in their Jeez, homes. Robin, you're getting around, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought you were on my side. That's the first time he's heard that. <laughs> I'm still laughing at it. It's new to him. It's new to me. Temporary restaurants in their homes to serve up the latest harvest of each year. Typically in the spring and fall, they sweep up the house, uh -huh. bring a few tables into the living room. Room, and then they hang a broomstick outside and let you know that's a signal for people to come on inside, try a few glasses of their wine because they're open for business. Boy, he, we have so many jokes he's never right? heard before. Uh, no. we, waiting with bated breath. Yeah. yeah. You'll think we're clever for about another four weeks <laughs> and then you'll realize what's going on. Uh, uh, number two, here's a good one from the Twitter account, the epitome of facepalm. Uh, looks like the bumper sticker on the car of a person who believes the conspiracy that the fluoride that is in our tap water is poisonous. For the record, it is not. Thousands of studies have shown it helps prevent cavities in kids anyway. The irony here is, uh, what am I missing, Larry? They're smoking, smoking a cigarette. Smoking a cigarette. Oh, yeah. I think they spell okay. fluoride wrong, too, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's, I'm, I don't know. Oh, I thought you before so. O? I thought yeah. the... Yeah, I didn't know if that was... Maybe it was the British spelling. <laughs> they had a U to everything. Uh, number one, here are two great videos uh, shot on different days at a gas station store in Louisiana. There's a 32-year-old guy named Bear Bailey, and the cashier and her daughters found out that Bear can really sing. Uh, check it out, and keep an eye on the guy in the red hat behind him. Pretty good one tonight. Come on, one time. Keep Urban for me, one time. All right, keep serving. We're about to do it. Now the long summer is coming and gone. <laughs> and I don't know why it always ends this way. Wow. The boardwalk's quiet and the carnival rides are as empty as my broken heart. Yeah, 
Uh, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing good, man. I need mine. All right, listen. Oh, another song. <laughs> no, Commodore, nice ship. That's what we're doing. All right, here we go. <laughs> Marvin, he was a friend of mine. Well, is anybody checking out of this place or what? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fan of that's hot stuff. I love that. You know what my favorite is? You're just waiting there. You just want to buy a bag yeah. of Fritos. Yeah. I just want to get out you're of here like, with my chicken. You want to come eat? Yeah. That fun. Is, it's awesome. <laughs> love that. See, that would have been one of us behind him. Right. Yeah. Annoyed that we couldn't check out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you sound great, but. Fritos, and calling my name. And we wouldn't have been wrong. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> That's a night and night. Sweet night and night.